Hi, my name is Dana Humphrey. I'm Dean of Engineering at the University of Maine, and it's my pleasure to take you on a virtual tour of the Furlan Engineering Education and Design Center. I'd like to start by thanking our wonderful donors, James and Eileen Furlan, who have given the naming gift for this building. This building is going to become the heart of engineering education at the University of Maine. Undergraduate students will be in this building at least once a day for something. Now we take a look at where is this building located on campus. To orient ourselves, there's the Black Bear that's in front of the field house. Uh, and then we have the engineering district uh, and the building is right here. That three-story building is the Furlan Engineering Education Design Center right in the heart of the engineering district. Now let's take a look at a street level view. Here's the building from Long Road. This is a three-story building. The bottom floor is granite facade. The second and third floor is mostly brick to match the brick nature of the University of Maine campus. Uh, we have the first floor, which is, has significant laboratory space, which we're going to look at. Uh, the second floor is primarily mechanical engineering with classrooms for everyone. And then the third story is biomedical engineering, again, with classrooms for, for all different majors. Uh, now we take a look at the south end of the building. This is the Cloak Plaza entrance. You can see we have steps going up into the, into the building. We have outdoor seating uh, so people can take and come and enjoy this nice, warm southern exposure. Uh, you can see we have two stories of glass here to let lots of natural light uh, into the building. Now one of the great features that we have is we're going to have a connecting walkway to Boardman Hall, the second story level. Boardman is one of our historic engineering buildings. That way students can freely flow from, the, from Boardman Hall to the Furlan Engineering Education and Design Center. Now let's actually go inside the building. This is inside the south entrance of the building. This is the Packaging Corporation of America Commons, where we have comfortable seating here uh, for students and faculty to interact, to chat, to work on problems. Uh, we have food service that's available here, so uh, up through uh, grab-and-go sandwiches. So there's a place where you come for a cup of coffee uh, to get a bite to eat. And then if we look in the, in the, in the back, uh, what we have is we have uh, meeting rooms for students. Uh, we have 12 rooms like this uh, on each floor of the building with seating capacity between 5 and 12 students. This is space where students can take and actually sign up for that space. Now if we take a look at uh, the opposite end, so this is the north entrance to the building, uh, here we have our, our welcome center for the entire campus. When a prospective student comes to campus, they're going to start their tours here in the Furlan Engineering Education and Design Center. We can uh, see the stairway going up to the, going up to the uh, second floor, so very bright, open, inviting space. Now let's take a look at some of the labs. This is the student project design suite. This is the heart of the building. We have 48 workbenches that we can assign to a group of students for a semester or a year. So that's going to be their bench. It has lockable storage underneath so they can keep their stuff there. Since it's their bench, they can leave their projects out on top. Uh, all the utilities come down from overhead so we can take and rearrange the benches as needed. And this space is surrounded by shops. And we have shops for biomedical engineering, electronics, 3D printing, a tool crib, a vehicle shop, a metal shop, a wood shop, and a composite shop. So the students are going to go out to the appropriate shops, fabricate parts, bring them together to their bench, assemble them, test it, debug it, go back out to the shops and make modifications to make real projects that really work. Let's take a look now at one of the other labs. This is the Pratt & Whitney Tool Suite. This is a suite where we have uh, milling machines, metal lays, a program uh, uh, that's absolutely vital for our mechanical engineering technology group, uh, and very bright, very uh, open space, and a vital learning component for this building. Now let's take and move up to the second floor. Uh, here you can see, looking down what we call Main Street, you can see lots of glass where so people in the corridor can go out and look and see the cool things that's happening in the, uh, in the, in the surrounding classrooms and laboratories. Uh, 
nice open staircase going up to the up to the third floor you can also see the basic color scheme we have nice wood uh, wood paneling there uh, along with some accent of humane blue let's take a look at some of the spaces in uh, the second floor this is one of our collaborative classrooms you can see we have it set up where the students are going to be sitting at tables of six with a large screen monitor at the head of each table so the students are going to come to a space like this and work together on problems. Any student sitting at a table can wirelessly take and connect their computer to the, to the monitor. And what we want is to have that learning happen in the small group environment uh, under the guidance of our faculty. Now let's take a look at one of the laboratories on the, on the second floor. Uh, this is one of the mechanical engineering teaching labs. All the utilities come down from a grid that's overhead. Uh, uh, and the benches themselves can take and be rearranged as needed. This is vital space for both mechanical engineering and mechanical engineering technology. Now let's take a look up on the third floor. Uh, this is looking down Main Street on the third floor. You can see we have a skylight that runs the length of the building. This is going to let lots of natural light in. This is going to be a bright, warm, inviting space. We have windows that look out into the surrounding classrooms and labs. Uh, on one side, we have our biomedical engineering teaching laboratories. And then we go to the other side. Uh, we have, looking down here, we have our biomedical engineering research labs. Uh, so people here are gonna be able to, able to look and see the cool things that's happening in our laboratories. To let light down into the lower floors, uh, we have this opening here on the floor. So the natural light from the skylights is actually gonna penetrate all the way down into the building. Very, very wonderful space and vital uh, for our biomedical engineering program. So I'd like, like to wrap up by emphasizing we're going to be opening in fall of 2022. So the students, when they come back for that fall semester, they're going to be in this building. And I'd really like to recognize all the wonderful folks who have been part of this process. Uh, our design team was WBRC, uh, architects and engineers based out of Bangor, Ellenswig based out of Boston, uh, structural engineer was Thornton Tomasetti, uh, our contractor uh, is, uh, is Consigli. Uh, the University of Maine is front and center because the faculty and the students in the College of Engineering spent countless hours giving input to the design. This is very much their project. And then we have the state of Maine. The state of Maine has been vital because they gave the base funding for this building with uh, bipartisan support. We've had over 500 donors for this project. Uh, and these are pictures of just a few of them. This has been a joint effort to make this incredible project come together. And this project will be the best of its kind in the Northeast and will give the University of Maine College of Engineering the cutting edge relative to programs throughout the Northeast.